The Empress Xiao Duanxian was called the Wang Xijie. She was elected as the Empress when she was twelve years old and managed the inner court for forty-four years, which made her become the longest-serving Empress in ancient Chinese history. The Empress Xiao Duan's husband was the Emperor Shenzhong of Ming, also known as the Emperor Wan Li. Wan Li became the emperor when he was nine years old. The court was managed by the self minister Zhang Juzheng, and the empress' daughter Xiao Ding, who was Wan Li's biological mother. In seventeen seventy seven. The empress' daughter Xiao An and the empress' daughter Xiao Ding held a election event to choose one empress and two consorts for Wan Li. About four hundred fifty girls joined in this event. Wang Xijie and another girl, whose last name was Chen, went to the final round of the empress' election. After careful comparisons, Wang Xijie was successfully chosen to be the empress. Chen Guo didn't become the consort, and came back to her own home. The two empress daughters also elected Liu Guo as the consort Zhao, and Yang Guo as the consort Yi. Those two consorts and the Empress Wang Xijie became the first three wives of Wan Li. One year later, Wang Xijie and Wan Li had their wedding ceremony. Wang Xijie officially became the Empress. The new Empress was really pretty and had great personalities, but Wan Li didn't like her very much. Four years after marriage, the Empress Xiao Duan gave birth Wan Li's first daughter, known as the Princess Rongchang. After this princess was born, Wan Li met his true love, known as the Noble Consort Zheng. From then on, Wan Li rarely visited Xiao Duan. In fifteen eighty six. The noble consort Zheng gave birth Wan Li's third son, who was actually their second son, because Wan Li's second son immediately died after birth. Wan Li loved the noble consort Zheng's son so much that he continuously tried to promote this son to the crown prince. When ministers required Wan Li to promote his oldest son as the crown prince, Wan Li refused them, using the excuse that he was waiting for the son from the Empress Xiao Duan, but no one believed him. Eventually, Wan Li had to promote his oldest son as the crown prince. Known as the Empress Guangzong of Ming, in fifteen ninety six, the Kunning Palace, which was the residential palace of Xiao Duan, and the Qianqing Palace, which was the residential palace of Wan Li, were totally destroyed in a fire. Wan Li and Xiao Duan had to move to the Qixiang Palace together. But Xiao Duan still had no chance to meet Wan Li. In this fair, Xiao Duan's Jin Bao, Golden Emperor stamp, was destroyed. Golden Emperor stamp represented the emperor's power of managing the inner court, so it was very important to the empress. To humiliate the empress Xiao Duan. Wan Li refused to replace the Golden Empress stamp for Xiao Duan. In sixteen six, in sixteen fourteen, Xiao Duan must use her Golden stamp on an official document. 
Wa Li asked the craftsman made a wooden step for her. Actually, until passed away, Xiao Dun didn't get her golden empress step, which made her become the only empress without the golden empress step for twenty four years in Ming Dynasty. In seventeen ninety seven, Wan Li's consort. Jing immediately passed away after giving birth to Wan Li's sixth son. Xiao Dun got the chance to raise Consort Jing's two sons. Xiao Dun carefully took care of those poor boys, so they healthily grew up. But for unknown reason, Wan Li didn't like those boys. He even delayed the weddings of them. Until they turned to twenty, which was really late in Ming royal family. The Empress Xiao Dun had a really hard life when she was alive, but no matter how well he treated her, she always kept her dignity as the Empress. Xiao Dun successfully took her responsibilities as the Empress. So Wan Li couldn't find her mistake to demote her. In May 1620, the Empress Xiao Dun passed away. All her funeral process were delayed by Wan Li. Three months later, Wan Li passed away. Before death, he required the Crown Prince to promote the noble consort Zheng to the Empress Dowager. But didn't succeed. The crown prince passed away one month after he became the emperor. When Wan Li was alive, he hated his emperor Xiao Dun and the consort Gong very much. But after that, Xiao Dun, as his wife, consort Gong, who was posthumously promoted to the empress. Were buried with him in the same tomb of Dingling. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.